Well, we're completely shocked and surprised by the Chief Minister's announcement this morning. Um, it's come out of the blue. Um, we think that it's been an overreaction from the scenes that uh, happened in Chatham County Guard this morning. We can't think of anything, any other reason why this has happened. Um, the social media uh, saw all these pictures appear all throughout the weekend. And I think it's pretty unfair that um, there is now a new law that we have to finish at 12 o'clock every day because of, of those scenes that happened over the weekend. There's, there's no other reason why, why we could have foreseen this to happen. Chief Minister said he didn't think there wasn't a level playing field between the various restaurants in different areas, but that's not the perception of the Gibraltar Catering Association, is it? Um, no, it's not the perception due to what we saw over, over the weekend. Um, I understand that the, the uh, Chatham County Guards probably had the same rules. It probably got out of hand. Um, it wasn't controlled. Um, and at the end of the day, I'm pretty surprised by, by their response because they came out trying to, um, it was almost arrogant the way that they, they responded. Um, if they've been given public highway for free. For any business owner, that's like a lottery win. You know, you treat, like, treat that like gold, right? Um, so to say that um, what happens outside their business when it's terrace that they've been given for free, right, I think is, is completely unreasonable. So what do you think the effect of this midnight curfew will be on local businesses? Well, it's going to be huge. I mean, there's, there's um, let's, let's not forget that COVID hasn't made people robots. It's, it's the middle of summer. People want to go al fresco dining. They want to stay out late chatting to their friends. And we feel that this is really going to be really detrimental for the food and beverage industry in Gibraltar because it's going to drive people to Spain and and I thought Spain you know was uh, you know as far as public health goes was a much more dangerous place for people uh, to go out and they'll be coming back into Gibraltar so we fail to see the logic um, we feel that um, the businesses that are affected the majority of the businesses that are affected uh, it's 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 completely unfair because we've been law-abiding we've been working with the environmental agency um, and we haven't been breaking any rules and, and for something to, for an announcement like this to be made which completely um, changes our, our, our business strategy I mean, you know, a few weeks ago we were told that we were going to be given extended business hours to make up for the business loss what happened to that? That's a complete U-turn I mean, we need some kind of explanation on that um, the food and beverage industry in Gibraltar is, is, is really struggling and, and this kind of unexpected blow um, has come as a real shock and surprise. I mean, credit where credit is due. I mean, I'd also like to thank Fabian Picardo for um, acknowledging the association this morning. Um, and he also announced that he'd be giving us a meeting. Um, and what we'd like to do is um, we'd like to um, relay the individual needs and problems that this industry is having. At the moment, um, there's other associations that, that, that don't really represent us specifically. And we think that um, it's something that the food and, and beverage industry in Gibraltar needs.